Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So as you can see, there's quite a stack of cards, quite a pile of cards here on the table. This is just your pre-shuffle, all right? What came out first was the Seven of Cups in reverse. And what I heard from that was no more confusion, setting the record straight, being quite clear on what it is that you want or what I'm hearing specifically, being quite clear on what it is that has happened here. However, that resonates for you. Um, and with your overall energy of being the king of cups i really feel like number one you might very much be in your feels right now okay that's fine but what i am getting with that is <clears throat> you're taking the high road or you're taking some sort of emotional responsibility um you're taking uh, you're embodying a, a strong sense of emotional responsibility and emotional maturity, and you're taking responsibility for how you feel, for your emotions, for your heart. Okay, here's the rest of the story. Uh, rest, the rest of the story so far. To talk to to explain what the Seven of Cups in Reverse means here, you recently walked away from something. Eight of Cups, and that left someone flabbergasted, watching you from a distance, from afar, wanting to give some sort of love to you, but being heartbroken because of it, or knowing that they can't offer you some sort of love because of the circumstances. Here you are, Nine of Wands, the Magician, and the Wheel of Fortune, having been battered and bruised, wounded warrior, not giving up, persevering, whatnot, to, to, to actively make some sort of change. 
manifest some sort of change in karma, change in circumstances for you. And not accepting any sort of love from this person, this past circumstance, whatnot, whatever. Or at least being very skeptical of it. Like, I'm hearing, why should I accept this from you now? What, what, what's the difference? What's the point? I just saw 222 on the counter there. I'm hearing things like deception, lies, cheating, backstabbing. These are all things that you walked away from. You pulled yourself up. You said you pulled yourself out of the trenches. You said, no more. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I'm taking power into my own hands. And I am walking away from this. I am doing everything within my power, even though I am battered and bruised and bleeding from places I didn't even know I could bleed from. I am still going to make something out of myself. I'm still going to make something out of this. I am changing my future. I am changing the circumstances and you are powerless to stop me. And then you have this other person or I guess your external circumstances showing up like this. Page of Swords watching you, wanting to give you some sort of love, wanting to make some sort of emotional offer. But it's too late. Why? Because look at what's standing in the way. The Three of Swords, which then leads to unrequited love or rejection of the offer or, offer or disinterest in the offer. And it, to be quite honest with you, Taurus, this feels like just the sheer fact that this person would want to now come back and extend some sort of offer to you hurts even more because now it's like why couldn't you do that when i was still here when i was still engaged when i was still involved why do you have to now wait for me to be fed up with the situation and walking away from you entirely for you to fully understand what it is i mean to you or what it is you meant to me and now you want to try and put forth the effort Fuck out of here, man. I don't need that shit, says Taurus. Why? Because I'm over it. King of Cups. Done. Bye. <laughs> I'm hearing things like, you've messed up too many times before. It's very much a Queen of Pentacles energy. The Queen of Pentacles is an individual who, or is a type of energy that, um, is a type of energy that, gives his or her all to the situation is very much willing to be supportive until you stab her in the him or her in the back or until they realize that you're taking their kindness for weakness or whew, yep death or you're taking um taking advantage of them and that's when they turn their back on you and once they turn your their back you are very hard pressed to get that person back into your life or to get that person to trust you enough to re-engage with the situation. <laughs> All right, Taurus. This is pretty intense so far, but let's see what we got. I'm going to give this one more shuffle here for you. And then we'll get into the rest of the reading, yeah? All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus. Um, before I start shuffling, I want, to, I want to mention that I'm seeing green, heart chakra. I'm seeing purple also, higher wisdom, esoteric understanding. Um, I feel like in the grand scheme of things, whatever it is that you're leaving behind, 
You're leaving it behind because you have a much greater understanding of the situation as a whole, of the circumstances as a whole, of the the higher knowledge, the the uh, 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 a a higher perspective here in the grand scheme of things, the grand scheme of things being like life and existence in general. I feel like you're not tied down to any to anything really anymore in the way that you may have been in the past and that is giving you the energy or the wherewithal to really move forward and completely change circumstances for you i really do feel like with the mission and magician and the wheel of fortune that came out in your pre-shuffle energies you have a conscious understanding of the karmic cycles that you may have been dealing with for so very long lifetimes even and now that you have this higher awareness or a bigger picture point of view or more zoomed out point of view you can consciously remove yourself from these karmic loops and create something new that is excellent taurus Whew. okay five shuffles for you here Whoa, one for my taurins sun moon rising and venus for the month of december 2019 2 3 for my torrents i have to admit i'm a little excited right now <laughs> for i'm like having to like calm myself a little bit because your energy just feels so vibrant happy very nice at taurus Oh shoot, I've lost count. Was that five? Well, yes, I'm gonna give you one more shuffle, Taurus, and I think this actually might be six, but whatever, I lost count, it doesn't matter, but this feels right, so we're gonna leave it here, okay. Boop. All right, Taurus, overall energy. The Eight of Swords. Very interesting, but I do feel like what I'm hearing is you're consciously aware of this and you're consciously walking away from cir circumstances or situations like this that keep you trapped, that keep you confined. This is the mental entrapment that I was actually picking up for you here in, in, in terms of like having a bigger picture view, having zoomed out enough sufficiently to understand to see the bigger picture and to know that what you felt like you were attached to to in the past no longer has to hold you any longer you can create something new for yourself you can release yourself from this mental prison from this entrapment whatnot whatever and go on to create something new for yourself without feeling guilty for it eight of swords underneath oh my god yes taurus the nine of freaking cups yes <laughs> underneath that there's that death card again, because that came out, that came out, that flashed me during the, um, during the pre-shuffle. Underneath that, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. I know that's right, Taurus. I mean, this is literally everything I was just talking about. <clears throat> you releasing yourself from the karmic loop, from the karmic cycle, Wheel of Fortune. You putting forth some sort of energy to transform, to create a new, a death and a rebirth death satisfaction guaranteed the nine of cups but your satisfaction is guaranteed taurus because you are actively creating it for yourself booyah <laughs> let's get into the rest of your reading here taurus first half second half of the reading you can look at it as the first half second half of your month take it as it resonates yes first set of surrounding energies for you taurus in the first half of your reading here you have oh look at you starting off with the ace of cups but this is a cup of self-love 100 percent for sure this is you being connected to the, the the unconditional love and the divine guidance of the universe you have have you having found that wellspring of ever flowing non-stop unconditional love that will never run out and that's what's helping you understand or see this larger uh this higher perspective or this this and I, I, please understand that when i'm saying a higher perspective i don't mean to imply that you are 
in any way better than anyone else around you. It's just that you have changed your focus. You have zoomed out. You've been able to zoom out and see things from a much bigger picture scale in terms of existence. And so there's an energy that I'm picking up for you, Taurus, where you've been in certain karmic loops over periods of lifetimes with with these certain individuals trying and trying and trying and trying to reach a certain goal and never really being able to fully get there but at this point taurus you are it's like you woke up to the bigger picture the grander scheme and now you're like oh wow i don't have to continue this karmic loop anymore i can release myself release others from this situation and go on to create something new and that come that understanding comes from this wellspring of unconditional love that you have finally become consciously tapped into ace of cups is coupled with then <laughs> yes the knight of wands there's the activation right there Boop. i love it taurus i love it the Knight of Wands to me is a spiritual um, leader, um, is a light worker, is a torch bearer, is someone that has recently been activated, inspired by the universe, by spirit, by God, source, the angels. These are things that I'm hearing as I'm as I'm, I'm channeling as I'm saying this. The Knight of Wands can also be a very wishy washy energy, someone that's here one second gone the next. That's kind of the shadow side of the 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 knight of wands but here in this aspect i this see i see this as a light worker a torch bearer or someone that has been activated someone that sees and understands on a deeper level the the energies of the universe the law of the universe the way things work universally and all that good stuff excellent taurus also you may be hearing construction outside my window Hopefully it's not too distracting, but unfortunately I can't do nothing about that, guys. Yeah. Oh, and you can also see my battery, <laughs> my receiver, my transmitter for my mic. Okay, anyway, the <laughs> second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Five of Cups. Okay, okay. But to be quite honest, Taurus, um, this Five of Cups energy doesn't feel like anything new for you and if you're still in this energy you may really be taking a hard look at the things that have spilled over in your life and how you can create something better in the future i especially with that king of cups energy that came out in the in the pre-shuffle i really do feel like you're probably in a process of taking a good hard look at um your surroundings from an emotional level what is fulfilling to you, what isn't fulfilling to you. Also, you could have been in this energy for some time, which is helping you to make some changes. Yeah. Five of Cups is coupled with the Five of Wands. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, there could be some people in your external circumstances that really don't necessarily agree with the, with the, the direction that you're moving in, but ultimately you know it's right for you. I'm also getting a sense of the sorrow, the pain, the grief, the guilt, the shame, whatever you've been experiencing with that five of cups. I think I really feel like you're coming to the realization that ultimately it's just a big old ego battle and no one is right, but also no one's wrong at the same time. And I really feel an energy of not being willing to spin your wheels over and over and over. This is that energy that I was picking up on where it's like you finally realize that this probably is never going to work or people's egos are getting way too much in the process, which is just going to continue to derail things. So now it's time for me to just separate myself because it, it's just this is this feels pointless. To be quite honest, Taurus, that's what it sounds like or feels like you're saying it, this just feels pointless so i'm just going to remove myself from it now and go on to create something new something better yeah your challenge in the first half of your reading here you have <laughs> the emperor taking your power back 
Now, the thing that I'm getting with the Emperor is that what's going to be challenging here for you is that there are going to be people around you that look at you like, what, what do you, what do you think you're better than us? You think that you're better than, than this, 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 this contract that we have with each other? You think that you're just so great that you can just break these chains and walk away from forever? And it's kind of like, well, I don't think I'm better than you, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is my life. I'm in control of this here. And to be quite honest, I'm not I'm not willing to deal with this petty narcissistic bullshit anymore. I mean, it's not like I'm not taking responsibility or ownership for my actions. That's for damn sure. I absolutely am. But at the same time, I'm also taking my power back and saying, I want no more to do with this. The Emperor is coupled with Five of Pentacles. Whatever situation is leaving you feeling like you're not good enough, you are moving your way out of that. You're making your way out of that. For sure. It's almost as if these challenges, because look, there's so many challenges here for you. Taurus, five, 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 five of cups, five of wands, five of pentacles. All of that has helped you to become, to step into this emperor power, to make some sort of executive decision of where it is you would like to go in your life. And to be quite honest, you are not willing to be or engage in any sort of situation any longer that makes you feel lack, that tells you that you're not good enough, that tells you that you're not whatever enough. No way. Absolutely no way. So, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak on your behalf, Taurus. If me not wanting to feel or wanting to be led to believe that I am not good enough or I'm lacking in some way causes me to pull myself out of that sort of situation which ultimately nullifies our contract with each other, then so be it. I know what I'm worth. I know what I have to offer in this world and universally. And I don't have to continue to allow anybody to make me feel less than. Neither do you, to be quite honest. But you know what? That's your decision to make. I'm making this decision for myself, says Taurus. Again, if that nullifies our, our soul contract or our agreement with each other, so be it. But you see, Taurus, you know what that sounds like? Sounds like you've learned your lesson here. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the two of pentacles striving for balance, okay? Bringing greater balance into your life, whether that be financially or just materially. I do feel like this is you balancing your material life. It's an energy of like taking your power, taking your power back for sure, but in ways that ensures your happiness, your solitude, well, not your solitude, your, um, Ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your foundation, your, why did I say solitude? That's weird. I don't think you want to be alone forever, but stable and grounded within your own solid, within solitude. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, two of pentacles is coupled with, oof, the four of pentacles though. But in this circumstance, I am getting a stable foundation, being very stable and very grounded. So you might actually be in a position right now where you are keeping a close look on your finances, especially if you're someone that's um, like breaking free, embarking, moving out on your own, um, and asserting some sort of independence here, that could be it. Um, but also, I get the feeling of you just standing your ground, Taurus. I do feel like you have a very stable and solid foundation right now, financially and or materially. 
But I also kind of feel like this is one of those times where Taurus's tendency towards some a bit of stubbornness actually would work in your favor because in this case you're standing your ground you're standing up for you're sticking up for yourself not taking no for an answer not taking anything less than you know you deserve okay yeah this is a good energy to be in right now taurus very good energy okay Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Taurus. First set, oof, my nose is starting to act up. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here. You have strength. Booyah, grandma. <laughs> we used to say that in high school. I haven't said that in the longest time. But anyway, um, the strength to stand up for yourself. Uh, you know, Taurus, there is a lot of emotional maturity coming through here for you in terms of holding yourself back, not retaliating, not sinking into some sort of resentment, spitefulness, um, trying to get back at someone, reserving your energy. <laughs> That's a good thing, though, Taurus. And that is definitely a part of that whole King of Cups, emotional maturity, emotional responsibility that I really feel like you're coming into or have been in or been coming into, okay? Strength is coupled with ooh, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you really are standing up for yourself right now, aren't you? Now, this doesn't feel, I wouldn't suggest that you go looking for a fight, but I don't feel like that's really what this is. This is, the, this is the strength to stand up for yourself and to fire back when need be, if necessary. This is very much an energy of like, don't fuck with me. Do, <laughs> do not, and I repeat, do not poke the bull because you will get the horns. Trust and believe. It might take a little provocation, but trust me, when I finally snap, you will get the horns, and you're not going to like it. Don't poke, don't poke the bull, y'all. Don't do it. Because you are in for a world of hurt. <laughs> Ooh. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading here. You've got the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands energy is much easier for an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn to handle than many of the other signs taurus specifically can really take some shit like can really take some burdens here but what i feel like taurus is you are finally putting these burdens down you're finally putting these burdens to rest you are finally letting go of Ooh, allowing yourself or even requiring yourself to carry the burdens of others just because you're a tank and you can handle it fuck out of here man carry your own shit i didn't even buy all this all this baggage worth of shit why do i have to carry it <laughs> you know you are not anybody's workhorse or at least not any longer and if you're going to be a workhorse you're going to be a workhorse for your own damn self or a work bull, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Ten of Wands is, <laughs> is coupled with There You Are, the Empress. No more. I mean, this... Wow, well, hello. Well, hello there. Look, you have both the Emperor and the Empress here. Wow, Taurus. So you, you could have been dealing with a divine counterpart, maybe a twin flame, because you do have the emperor and the empress, and that is, in terms of twin flame situation, that is the masculine and the feminine. You could have been dealing with a masculine entity or energy that was extremely controlling and only led you to believe that in some way you weren't good enough. Maybe that you would never be good enough. But now, Taurus... You know exactly what you're worth. And you're saying, no more. You can carry your wands yourself. I want nothing to do with it any longer. I know what I'm worthy of. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I have to provide to this earth and to life and to the people around me that actually do love me and, and um, value me. So no, 
You can carry your burdens yourself. I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, Lord in heaven. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the six of wands, but I'm hearing holding your head high. Now, also, Taurus, remain humble. It's very interesting that the Six of Wands here is in your challenge section. I really do feel like this is holding your head high, maintaining a sense of self-worth and respect now that you are moving forward so consciously. It feels like it might be a little difficult for you to be happy in this or to see this as a victory, but yes, it in fact is, okay? Six of Wands is coupled with, oh, the star. Oh, Taurus. Okay, so your challenge is believing that you, <clears throat> you are going to get exactly what you need to receive, exactly what it is you've been working so hard for, what you've been striving for, exactly what it is you desire. So it might be hard it might be hard to believe that you separating yourself or you moving away from this situation or at least finally releasing yourself from the situation, from the confinement, is a victory. And it's probably going to be really hard for you to see how your wish fulfillment is going to come through now, now that you have released yourself from some sort of karmic ties or contractual, soul contractual agreement. But by you releasing yourself from this narcissistic attachment i guess we can say this confinement you are freeing yourself well number one that is a victory but number two you're freeing yourself you're opening up the space for you to receive that wish fulfillment it's almost as if whomever was holding was 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 what you were attached to was in fact holding you back was trying to control you from receiving that which you desire or you deserve from anyone else other than them that might be a really specific message for some of you out there, but that's kind of the way I'm seeing this. That's how it's kind of the energy is being translated for me. It might be hard. It might be really hard to understand how your wish fulfillment is going to come through. Maybe it will come from this person again. Who knows? But what's important right now is that you release yourself from the confinement. and not focus on the external details. So this could be a situation in which you take your power back and you completely release yourself from any sort of controlling aspects of this situation or your life. And that influences this person that you, were, uh, that you had this contractual agreement with, this soul agreement with, to change their view, to change their focus, to change the way they approach the situation or the circumstance. And then you two thus can come together, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Or someone completely new comes into your life. But either way, victory is here and wish fulfillment will be served. Your challenge is having faith in that and believing in that, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading here, you have the magician yet again. Yeah, you are taking a very active and conscious role in this. And that is exactly what you need to continue doing. Because you are the creator of your own reality. You are the master manifester. You are the master of your own domain. Use it to your advantage. And I would recommend that you use it for good, not to hurt people. Because that's only that karma is only going to come back to haunt you. So you don't want that. OK, <laughs> but I do think you understand that at this point, especially given all the things that all the way the controlling aspects that you seem to be removing yourself from. Right. The magician is coupled with ooh, the king of wands. I know that's right. I, Taurus, I really want to say that that is you. 
this King of Wands energy. You could be manifesting a new King of Wands into your life, someone that's really passionate, desireful, um, action-oriented. But I also feel like this is you, Taurus, being very confident, very sure of yourself, knowing what exactly it is that you want, or at least having a very strong idea of it, um, and not being afraid to go after it. Also not being afraid to bide your time, but then also not giving a damn what other people have to say about how you handle your life or the relationships within it. Congratulations, Taurus. <laughs> that is really a beautiful energy. All right. So let's get your Oracle guidance then to close out your reading here, yeah? For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. 2019. Okay, here we go. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019, what oracle guidance do you have for us Taurans, please, spirit? Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Good. Golly, Miss Molly. Card number eight, Uluka Vahini. She who rides the owl brings justice. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this one says. Okay. I am the goddess of karma, wealth, and balance. I come to correct Ad. Adham, adharma, A-D-H-A-R-M-A. -A -A. I come to correct adharma, that which is dark, unnatural, and against nature, life, love, and goodness. I redress the misuse of wealth and power. I enact divine justice and restore divine order. Trust in the innocence of your own soul and fear not, for I am ever watchful and my power brings truth. Divine justice is always brought to bear. In a reading, this says, don't waste your valuable time and energy worrying about people getting away with things. It is not possible. Everything is balanced out by karma in the long run. If you feel down or depressed, take action immediately to reconnect to joy, healing energy, and vitality of spirit. All things are measured and metered by clear divine vision, and your job is to put your faith in the work of the divine whilst you tend to your own journey with trust and content commitment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is an excellent, excellent card. And this is actually a really great reading for you, Taurus. So <laughs> congratulations, yeah? So there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!